Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you the latest prefab home hitting the American market, and it's happening this summer. That's right, it's happening now, not another hurry up and wait situation, even though I know everyone loves those. No. The prefab home market has been hopping lately with a bunch of new options available, but this is some of the most exciting news I've heard in a while. I can usually predict the general response I'll get before posting a video, depending on the look of the home and more importantly, the price it sells for. Typically, if it looks unbelievable, it's reflected in the price. And if the price is unbelievable, it's reflected in the look. I'm very interested to see the comments today because I think we've got a great look at a fair price and if all goes well, it'll result in a few taps on the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I touched briefly on this company sometime last year, but things have changed and a big important expansion is only a month and a bit away. The company I'm talking about is Q with their line of modern prefab homes that are now available in America. What I'm going to do is tell you a bit about who they are, check out their homes and get into their pricing. Q is a modular home company with a line of homes that doesn't look much like anything else available in a good way. Apparently there's been a bit going on over at Q since the last time I took a look at what they're up to, including, but probably not limited to, moving into a new production facility and forming a partnership to make their homes available to the American market. Something that a lot of people were hoping for last time around. Here's the thing. Occasionally, I feature homes from companies who aren't currently servicing the US market, like I did with this one last summer, and it tends to cheese people off. And I get it. It sucks looking at things you can't have, but I figure there is always a chance a company will expand into a new market. It's kind of like when you hear about a chicken sandwich that isn't available in your area. You simply can't write it off because one day Dave Thomas comes along, opens a spot, and now you've got access to the spicy. It's important to know who offers what because you never know who might expand into a new market and that's exactly what we're dealing with here. And no, this is not me saying I told you so. It says homes from Q are a prefabricated steel structure and the versions built for America will be able to withstand 180 mile per hour winds. They're a housing solution equipped with the latest technology and materials to ensure the energy efficiency of the home. These homes come out of the factory fully finished and it's noted on the website that they can be installed on site in two hours. Think about that for a second. It takes me two hours to burn a lasagna and they're setting a full on home in that amount of time or less pretty impressive. Right now they're running a line of four models ranging in size from just over 200 square feet to 450 square feet in four different editions. If you're thinking, wait a minute, where'd the extra model come from? That's a nice pickup. It was designed specifically for the American market and can withstand those 180 mile per hour winds. A few of the benefits being marketed by Q that people might find noteworthy include 100% recycled steel structure, a home automation system, this is pretty slick. It handles curtains, lock, in-floor heat, LED lights, and AC. They've got an electric vehicle charging station, high efficiency windows, dryer, dishwasher, oven, microwave, and fridge included, as well as a 55 inch TV. The thing's pretty decked out. The smart home system sounds awesome. You'd never know it from watching my channel, but I like good lighting. I think it can add to the look and feel of a space and Q has gone above and beyond on these things. The ambient lighting inside and out looks fantastic and I think it's just one more thing about the look of these homes that sets them apart. If you caught the last video, you may remember that Q is located in Spain and you might be thinking, how are they gonna get them over here? Which is a fair question. The homes are built near Alicante, Spain to American specs and they're gonna ship them across the Atlantic. I'm hearing cost estimates of $10,000 from port to port, which doesn't really matter if the homes are duds, so let's have a look at a few of these things. As previously mentioned, Q now has four models available that they say are designed to be used for homes, accessory suites, or the hospitality industry like hotels. I frequently get asked about options that ship to the Caribbean, and I came across a plan of a home that was marked for Turks and Caicos, so if you are one of those people who's been asking, a possibility for you here. The smallest option they currently have available is called the Pocket at just 205 square feet. 205 square feet isn't a huge amount of space, hence the name, but they've designed it in a way that it has everything you need. 
The way the floor plan is laid out, the entrance is on the back of the home into the kitchen. It wraps around into the main part of the home, then into the bathroom. Cool little plan for someone in the market for a small footprint home. Up from there, they've got the queue at 400 square feet. It's a one bedroom with a nice floor plan that could be a great option for one or two people. I think the exterior of the queue slaps. Check out that lighting, it's so cool. The way the home is set up, it has the entrance on the side near the front into the kitchen dining room. The kitchen is fully equipped with high end appliances and a minimalist functional design. And I like how they have the window above the counter below the cabinets where you'd typically find some kind of backsplash or just a wall. The Q footage is a great example of what I was talking about with the lighting. These aren't your grandpappy's A19 bulb. Moving down the hall towards the bedroom, I believe that's storage on the right, and they've got even more built-in storage in the bedroom, a going concern that shows up quite often in the comments. People need to know where they're gonna store their ginch. The feature I haven't seen often, or even at all on any other homes, is the built-out glass box they're calling the lookout at the front of the homes. Definitely a unique feature that adds to their signature look. The lookout is described as a five-sided viewpoint in a walkable glass on metal structure to enjoy the landscape. I can already picture myself sitting in the lookout having a bunch of really deep and important thoughts. I don't think there's any denying the queue is a great looking space, but they've got two bigger and I know people don't have all day, so I'm gonna get this show on the road. Next up, they've got the Q family. The family adds 50 square feet to the total size, which makes room for a set of bunks in the hall. I saw a really cool video about how these bunks fold up and I'll try to find it, but if not, you're currently looking at my face. Sorry about your luck. The rest of the Q family plan is similar to the Q, but the bunks make it an option for up to four people to sleep comfortably. Finally, they've got the new plan that's called the Q American, also at 450 square feet. And out of everything they've currently got, I think this one's my favorite. The way it's laid out, they've got the entrance on the side near the end into the living space. The living space has access to the bathroom as well as the kitchen, and both of those have access to the bedroom. The reason I like this plan best is it has more of a proper living room with space for a couch because I don't always wanna eat my spicy chicken at the table like a proper adult. In fact, I rarely wanna do that. Ever. I also like how the bathroom is easily accessed from both the living room and the bedroom because spicy food doesn't always agree with me, but that doesn't stop me from eating it. It's probably TMI. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna check out their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting the video. The prices don't include shipping, but as I mentioned, they're estimating it to be around $10,000 to make the trip, which I think is reasonable. I've paid more to move a home less than a thousand kilometers and this thing's going across the Atlantic. So in comparison, it seems like a deal. The Pocket has a base price of $55,000. The Q has a base price of $85,000. The Q family has a base price of $90,000. And the American also has a base price of $90,000. I've looked at a few homes over the years and when you take the look, which I think is great, and the price, I think it's reasonable. For anyone interested in seeing one of these things stateside, I've heard they'll be on display at the International Boat Show in Fort Lauderdale, which takes place in October. It's just a bit easier than going to see it in Spain, but both trips sound kind of nice to tell you the truth. Q is a prefab home builder located in Spain that is officially entering the US market in about a month. They have a line of really cool homes that have a look unlike anything else available. There seems to be a bit of a trend going on here with more European modular home builders making their way into the American market. Market. It's exciting to see. I've had my eye on this company for a while now and I'm glad to hear they're going to be available in North America. So I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.